Welcome everyone to another Middle Earth Gaming video and in this video it is my hobby vlog number two. Yes, uh, it's been a while, I've got to say. I think I looked it up, it's been about six months since I posted the first one. Um, and there's a few there's a few things that I ha I've got to contribute to that. One thing is uh, I've been busy at work, been busy with life unfortunately, haven't been able to get as much done as I would like to. Um, but, uh, you know, I've got a bit more time now. Uh, since we've gone back into lockdown, unfortunately, but I, I, as a result of that, it's actually given me a lot more time to actually do more painting, do more hobbying, and uh, get more work done on uh, my magazine. As you guys know, I'm doing uh, a Hobbit version of Battle Games of Middle Earth. Uh, so I've got a lot of that uh, done this week, a lot of work on that done this week. So a lot, a lot of the planning of that uh, going very well i gotta say um i will have a video update about that uh hopefully next week should be uh should be fun um but uh yes to do to do go along with that i have got some painting uh done this week which i finished off that you would have seen in my last hobby vlog um and i got some more work done of uh of what i'm going to be doing next as well so hope you guys are ready for that so first of all you guys would have seen these guys in my last hobby vlog um, the three trolls, they are now pretty much done, i got to say. Um, we'll start off with, uh, Bert. Um, he is, uh, of course, he's still missing his knife. I still I still have to find a piece to, uh, fix his knife. But uh, other than that, he's pretty much done. Um, as you guys can see, hopefully I can get it good. There we go, that should be per working perfectly now. Um, yeah, he was, uh, he was almost, he was pretty much done, I think, in the last hobby vlog. Um, his base wasn't done. The base is, I think, came out really well. I use a lot of uh, Geek Gaming Scenics. Uh, I think it was Scrublands um, base ready mix. Uh, so I did uh, did the was it the uh, fast driving fast drying basing glue? Uh, put it down in some Scrublands. Did some other things to it as well, and I uh, put some steel on there as well. And I think it came out really nice. Um, and I think that's how I'm going to do my board for the uh, for the troll mission as well because as you guys know I'm very into narrative uh, the, into the narrative I should say um, portion of the game so you can expect a lot of narrative scenarios on this on this channel uh, I want to do the entire Hobbit and Lord of the Rings campaign at some point and you know whatever else they you know the middle of team does bring out I do want to uh, complete them on the channel as well so I think they they came out pretty well uh, I think uh, what was this Bill uh, I think he was done as well um mostly done um his base is now done as well as you guys can see i think it came out really well um i have to say if you guys are wondering how i painted these uh, i think i mentioned it in my last hobby vlog in the in hobby vlog number one um of how i did that i know tom wasn't done in the first one he was still base coated um but he is now done i think he came out really well um he, i actually painted him last actually this week uh, and the other two i painted like six months ago so it was hard to try and get him to look the same. He does look a little bit different. I think my paintings come along a little bit, a little bit more. Um, I've tried to do a lot more uh, definition onto his skin, as you guys can see. Hopefully, it kind of works out at some point. You know, from far away, you're never really going to notice it, but um, you are. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think it came out really well, and the, the the cloth on the fabric I think came out well as well, and of course the base really really nice base i do recommend even just trying it out um for like one or two of your models guys i do recommend uh trying it and uh yeah the ceiling are just i'm 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 you know i'm really trying to get these off and they're just not coming off so really came out really well i did mess up his face a little bit but i tried to fix it hopefully it uh it's coming up all right for you guys um, and yeah, I don't know if I mentioned it in my last hobby vlog or not, but I was also, um, starting work on, uh, Yazneg as well. Um, and I finished him this week as well, mostly anyway. Uh, and this was the New Zealand basing turf, I think. Um, basing mix from Geek Gaming Scenics again. Um, and I added some of my own, uh, grub scrublands as well my own uh, grass mixtures as well um because it seemed a bit powerful for my for my uh liking and his skin is actually the same method i use for the trolls so i base coated it uh did a shading in the recesses couple of shading in the, in the recesses and then built it up again with highlights so i think that came out pretty well um 
I haven't done his eyes yet. I don't know if I will or not. We'll have to wait and see. I did do the eye, the eyes on the wag. I think they came out pretty well. I don't know if I can actually get that into focus for you guys or not. A little bit of foliage on there. That's all right. But um, yeah, I think it came out pretty well. I gotta say. A lot of uh, I start. I've started to use a lot more contrast paint as well. Which definitely helped with the fur of the wag. Because you see in, in the film, he's got like a brown, a really dark brown wag and with black fur. And the, um, so I did try to get that uh, image across essentially. If you guys like to see more of Yazneg, I haven't done his foot version yet, but um, I'll be doing that for, he'll be one of the uh, painting, he'll be one of the stars in Battle Game, in the Hobbit Battle Games in Middle Earth, my uh, magazine that I'm doing so um, if you guys want to see more of the foot mo model where I'll be doing like a painting guide to try it probably it's probably gonna be a little bit look a little bit different than this I think these bone armors come out a bit dark so I do want to lighten up a bit lighten that up a bit um, but uh, yeah and it's, again the skin you know, is the same as I've pretty much done for these uh, for the trolls so I hope, hope they came out uh, pretty well uh, and uh, I do have a few things uh, coming this week. I actually did do a lot of. Uh, I got a couple of big orders coming this week for more uh, for more models, for more stuff to go towards uh, the Hobbit campaign, as well as the uh, Battle Games in Middle Hobbit Battle Games in Middle Earth. Um, so a lot of that's being worked on. There's a lot of painting, a lot of modeling, a lot of guides being written up, uh, a lot of articles being written up as well for those magazines. So. Like I said, I will have another video later on uh, this week or next week going on uh, about an update for that for you guys. I have also started a, uh, start up a Patreon as well, um, which I'll be putting out next week if you guys like to support. Um, there'll be a few little uh, rewards in there as well. I'm also going to be starting up some uh, giveaways uh, on the channel as well, as well as Patreon as well, so you guys can uh, look forward to that. But uh, yes, what am I going to be working on this week, you ask? Well, I'm going to be working on this chap here. This is the Mounted Hobbit uh, Elrond. Uh, as you guys can see, I built him, green stuffed him. Uh, it wasn't too bad, actually. Um, I think I might have missed a gap in there, which I'm going to have to go back now that I've actually seen it in the, in the light a bit better. Um, but, uh, you, know, I, you know, it's a pretty cool model, I've got to say. Not my uh, favorite Elrond model, that's for sure. But of course, you know, it's the Hobbit version. I love the Hobbit models a lot more, uh, a, a, a lot. So I, I do want to get this guy painted up. He is going to be in either in one of the early scenarios as well uh, for the for the campaign. Um, and again, his foot model will be featured in uh, a issue of Battle Games in Middle Earth um, of my version of Battle Games in Middle Earth. Anyway, so you guys can expect a painting guide from him. So hopefully. Hopefully get him up, painted up this week, and I'll show you guys in a hobby vlog next week. Um, you can definitely expect this guy. Maybe a few other things, secrets. I do want to start on the Knights of Rivendell as well. I haven't got them built yet, but I do want to get them started this week. Um, they will also feature in uh, Battle Games of Middle-Earth as well, so uh, you guys can expect them as well. Uh, but yeah, that is what, um, that's what, I've focused, that's what I'm going to be focusing on this week. Just move these guys out of the way. Um... So yeah, I'm going to be focusing on Hobbit, uh, Hobbit Elrond, as well as some Knights of Rivendell, uh, some Hunter Orcs, that kind of stuff. Everything, like, like I said in my previous videos, I've had to restart my entire collection uh, from being out of the hobby for quite a while. Because um, some stuff's happened to it, essentially, and I've had to restart. But uh, So, you know, it does take a while, um, but I think it's a lot better this way because my paintings, I think, improved a lot more ever since... Uh, Ever since I ever since I stopped back like four or five years ago, so I'm pretty happy with how they've been turned out uh, right now. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I do like the the face sculpts of this uh, Elrond, like such good expression of his uh, of his character right there. His his sword was a bit bendy, so I just had to do the old hot water trick. But uh, can actually get that pretty pretty close. It's actually pretty good. Um, but yeah, guys, that is uh, what I'm going to be working on this week. So hopefully you'll be able to see a hobby vlog next week. Uh, that is the plan anyway. If not, definitely in two weeks time. But uh, yeah, have to wait and see. But appreciate you guys all tuning in. Uh, if you guys like to uh, support the channel, make sure to leave a like, comment what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below. And uh, subscribe for more 
uh, for more videos and vlogs and everything you can think of to do with Middle Earth strategy battle game. But, and Middle Earth in general as well. But uh, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. And as always, happy gaming.